Don't you dare no. hit me with that, I swear to God. I know jujitsu. All Jews know jujitsu. Jiu-jitsu. Watch, try and hit me with that. I bet you can't. I'm Maddie Matheson, and this is Mythical Kitchen. This is Josh. These are his arms, his fingers, and his brain in between his ears and in behind his eyeballs. Today we're gonna make something you've never seen before. It's gonna be huge. The internet will soak it up and dip it and suck it and make it feel real nice. Tuck it in, get a heavy weighted blanket, maybe a couple gravities, a couple duvets, a couple gooseneck leathers. Like Kim Kardashian popping the champagne and landing it right on her pert derriere, we too shall break the internet tonight. You're welcome, I'm even doing this. And if you want to snag the time codes for the three easy, if you want, we've broke the recipe. The thing about the recipe is that it's broken down into three easy steps. Maddie, they're so easy. And it we, goes from one to three. And they're right there. And then if you also want to read a full written recipe down in the description, you go there. Buy Maddie's cast iron pan, you schmuck. It's only $200. It's the cheapest pan I ever, $200? Maddie. <laughs> there's a, there's we're here. Yellow. We are here. Uh, we're, we're making a lasagna out of 7-Eleven ingredients because we said it that we were going to do it, so now we have to actually. There's truth to be told. So what I'm thinking, right, you got the bolognese. You did the chorizo lasagna video, yes. right? And you did it pretty simple. Just cook down chorizo with like a tomato sauce yeah. and a little, like, kind of bolognese. So I think we can use beef jerky instead because what is beef jerky other than I have these stupid little beads on that I got for a Guy Fieri costume, and they make clicky clacky. Thank you, Nicole. You I'm so sorry. About- Blend that up, and then we're gonna make like a sofrito. So make sure you take these out. No, leave it in for seasoning. Don't die, kids. I'm sorry. We, we you gotta... should obviously buy food that has this in it too. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Silica gel. Silica gel. Keeps it fresh. Yeah. Keeps it fresh. Keeps it fresh. You're like a farmer. Like you, you, you cook nice natural food. Oh, I don't. Another I eat one. You guys too. That's not you put that well, in your fridge. I'm gonna make the ricotta cheese. You made the ricotta cheese. I'm making the ricotta cheese, but we gotta go like vegan ricotta because I'm using I'm using almonds because it's healthy. I want you know it's a high low. So Situation here. Yeah, yeah. It's really like like garbage meets Giada. Giada. Uh, if, if Giada and Rachel Ray were wrestling in a dumpster. Wow. Out back from the 7-Eleven. Wow. This is what they did. I ate next to Giada once and I like thought it was the I was just like, wow. So you're just gonna take the beef jerkies and the, the pico de gallo. Yeah, we're making like the sofrito. This right? Is That's a, what a sofrito beef is. Sofrito. It's a beef sofrito. It's a beef and then sofrito. we're gonna cook that down. Cause you got here's the thing. And you just Maddie, 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 Maddie. crank it! 7-Eleven don't you got cr- a lot of it, it uh, blends up easily. It was gonna be like a slurry. You know, kind of jimmy it. You're not jimmying it. We don't got the good restaurant stuff. It's not really doing much. Yeah, it is. Just keep it going. Stop complaining. Just you keep it going. You want to emulsify the onions, the Thank tomatoes, you. the salty meat. Yeah, because that way you're going to get a sludge. Maybe a couple pulses. And a bolognese is just a meat sludge. We can't We're overthink it. We're getting there. Maddie, is this the wettest pepper jack you've ever seen? That's as wet as it gets, It's the wettest pepper jack. Only the funds for Maddie Matheson in the Mythical Kitchen. I love it. People have been saying, they're like, you and Maddie should collab. They've been saying that in the comments. You don't read comments. There's only comments. one reason I'm here. Clickbait. All right, you want to get that heat in the Let's pan so hot? So you, you get this hot. to a nice paste. But then we're going to go ahead and deglaze that. Here you deglaze go. Deglaze it. How's it tasting? Uh, how's it? It's just ingredients, well, it's right? Food. It's just ingredients. There's no such thing as dog food, no, cat food. It's just it's ingredients. ingredients. It all comes from Mother Earth. Also, what? Pico de gallo is good. Beef jerky is good. You combine them together. This is called, Maddie, I'm a chef, so this is called cooking. This and is so you cooking. combine the good cooking ingredients. Stuff. Do you think this is going to taste good? So far, yeah. Right? I can tell. I got it. My spidey sense is really cranking out here. And I think this is going to be one. Oh. Well, this is here's the it's thing. Just here's be the thing. Nice. Have you ever heard like the Italian grandma trick? They add a pinch of sugar to tomato sauce to neutralize the acidity. Yeah. I bet there's sugar in that. There's nothing in it. Just there's sodium. sodium. Well, no, no, there's sugar. Oh, sugar is the, the sugar. The fourth ingredient. Fourth. So ingredient. that's why we're on this. Can you here, Maddie? Do it. Oh, we gotta. You gotta use a can. Can you use a can opener? So, oh, God, I'm so slippery with beef fat. I'm gonna strain out these almonds. And then we gotta make we our to almond put all ricotta. Of this in there? I think so because right now this is a pretty thick meat paste. Wait what till the- we. Onion pie. What the fudge? What the fudge? What the calls? fudge is this? You gotta, dude, lean on the Mormon roof. Okay, hey, Mormons. I'm Mormon. I, I got the tabernacle Maddie, choir the, in my pants. That's great. I played football at BYU for nine seasons between See, the ages of 32 went, and 41. I went to the jail where John Smith died. He got killed. I used to go every year to the, the, the hill. You go to the hill? Oh, where you with the, with the tablets? Where you found the tablets? tablets? No way, man. We used to go every year. We'd dude, sit, that's huge. We'd bring our little chairs and we'd watch the reenactment of an insane person find insane things. And then. No, too much. Chef, stop. Do you think it's, do you think it's too much? Relax. Just relax. Well, like, I, I Maybe a, a cup a at a time? What do you mean a cup at a time? That was like a half cup. Okay, you can be your micromanaging, you know? I'm telling you. I'm micromanaging. Because the, the heat should. <laughs> ah, God dang it. Yeah, Where's more. the Jimmy's? We're going to need more. I can Where's tell the Jimmy's? Well, we don't know yet. The almonds oh, are wet. God. Watch your hands. The almonds are wet. 
There it is. Do you think we need a season here? Let me get a tasting film. Yeah, let's taste it, it shall we? Okay, this okay, like, this actually makes sense to me, right? Like you get it, it all the, makes sense to because me. Because you got almond ricotta is the thing that the vegans eat. Yeah, and a little bit of pepper jack in there. We're working with like why a is thing. Vegan? I don't understand what's, 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 what's Well, because I don't know. Do you think they sell vegans fresh, pay for this? Bellwether. Vegan they sell bellwether ricotta at the 7-Eleven in Birmingham. Show that. Maddie, open up, Maddie. Jeez, it needs more liquid. Let's just, let it run. Just let it run, man. Yeah, that's what the vitamin makes us. Yeah, yeah, it's a little grainy. It's a little <laughs> well, I think the Vitamix, because here's the thing, they initially like marketed Vitamix as, they were like, this can is a blender you can make soup in. We Nicole, more cheese. cheese, what is going on? We need like the cheese. All of the cheese, guys. Me like, and Nicole, you're really great we're work. Almond soup. And I'm really grateful for they you, and I don't want to continue soup. the cycle of abuse that Gordon Ramsay's perpetuated for years. This is what happens. Media. Thank you. All right, Maddie, we got our beautiful beef jerky sofrito bolognese cooking down right now. We got our vegan ricotta that also has a bunch of shelf stable pepper jack cheese in it, but I know what you're saying. What's, Maddie, what's the next step in lasagna after this stuff? Well, you know, we're gonna have to get some shells out and layer this up. Are we gonna be putting any lemon zest? <laughs> Maddie, they don't have fresh lemons at the 7 Eleven. No, don't they usually have a basket right there with the bananas? Can you just go with it for the sake of okay, this? Okay, no lemon. Can, I, can you, you just say, spinaches? Josh, they don't have lemons? Josh, they don't have <laughs> lemons. And what are you guys going yeah. to convenience stores, bodegas? We just going liquor stores. Just liquor stores. Yeah. Well, they also we're gonna funyun. We're making funyun. We're making funyun pasta. Can we yeah. put funyuns on top? Yeah, we can put funyuns on top, man. I love. Them. As long do as we have shells. What are we doing? Hot shells. Floss. Do we have shells? What do you mean shells? Like lasagna shells. Come shells. Well, shells are shells. Conchiglia are shells. Conchiglia. No, but lasagna is lasagna. We're gonna make the funyun lasagna. Maddie, we gotta make the lasagna shells. Shall don't we? you don't you dare no. do that, I swear to God. I know jujitsu. All Jews know jujitsu. Jew jitsu. Watch, try and hit me with that, bet you can't. <laughs> we're gonna take the funyuns. What are we doing with gonna, the funyuns? We're making funyun pasta because they Funyun pasta. There's okay, no perfect. reason we should, because they sell flour at the 7-Eleven. So at this point we're just selling the motif. This is art. Yeah. Right? You know, like some some uh, neoclassical painters had bare breasted angels and all their things. We have funions and all of our stuff, you know? All of it. Bare breasted angels. What? You, yep. Yeah, can I, can, well, you want me to go you in the hole? You want me to go no. in there? Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna double these funions. So what's the ratio to funion to flour? Whatever we want it to be, man. Are we using double, is that double O? Or, or is that just AP? Is that AP? This is AP, this is AP. We don't use double O because uh, they don't sell that at the 7-Eleven, but we literally got oh, this yeah. flour from so the 7-Eleven. this is like classic, yeah. don't use also cake flour. Yeah, we use we use bread flour. Bread you always blend that up. Oh, Here's yep. the thing, you gotta blend the That's flour it? with the okay. funions, otherwise the funions, they'll actually liquefy because there's so much oil in them. Yeah, right? And so yeah, and so we're gonna do that, and then it's gonna give it give it like a nice jimmy, there it is. And then I'm, we're gonna make a little well, we're gonna crack the eggs in it, then we're gonna kinda finger it up, mash it out, then roll it into fresh pasta. It's like chickpea flour. It's like chickpea flour, it's like we're making a soca. That's or, a uh, What's the other one then? Panisse. Panisse. Yeah, that's a good one. I think we're good. Yeah. I made cinnamon toast crunch panisse. Really? Once. Yeah, do you, are you proud of me? I love this show, mythical. It's fun, right? It's for fun. Because every every food every food has already been made. You know, in the thousand, this seems like too little flour to make like pasta with. No, that's perfect. You think it's perfect for two. You want to make a well? Yeah, I gotta, make a well. Some in there. Make a well. I'll crack an egg. Crack two whole eggs. Yeah. Make a whole egg. Do you the want recipes the recipes in the community page? Yeah, no, in the description. In don't the you description. know? Down there in the description. Then you well, what you do is you subtly point to your junk so that way it brings people's eyes down. The pasta maker's broken. It's just broken. This is broken. Flat out. Flat out broken. We were ah. talking about how it's broken earlier. Uh, do you want to mix the pasta or you want me to do it? Yeah. You want do me to kind of like a? Or do you do it just? I'm just gonna mash it. You can use a knife. That's a big old knife. You can use a home this looks like That's it's the a good one. That's it's the soft. perfect. I'm just gonna whip just, it do out. You to, do you want me to do anything? No, you just. Is there any way that I can like emotionally support you? You want me to do breathing? Just tell me. Yeah, let's do it. Just breathe me out. Breathe me you out. Make all right. We're gonna go deep. Inhale. This is ujjayi breath. This is called mm. warrior breath. You're gonna contract the muscles in your throat. And you're gonna make a little noise. And don't be afraid. Mm. Uh, uh. I've been doing a lot of at-home yoga. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah, really? Have you really? Yeah, you it's know. It's nice, right? It's good for your mind. I don't know, though, It's good man. for your, it's not good for my wrists, though. The big dog weighs a bit, so it's not, It's bad on the wrists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's pretty bad for my mind, though, because I, I feel trapped, and I, I get a little panic attacks when I'm doing yoga because I have to stay still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, I feel like you don't like staying still. Do not like staying still. No, no, that is poison for my brain. You think I should go a little bit more flour? Yeah, now mash it up. Yeah, I feel like not more gotta, flour, just oh, know, get man. that nice, okay? okay there okay, you go. Okay. 
See, I did the heavy work. Now you, yeah, I want to see you. Use hands. your elbows. Do you mean like actually elbows? No, no, no. Like, like, like you're using like your full arms. You want to use your there. shoulders, yeah, yeah. everything, and you just smash the get heel it all in there. there. You're, all this, bring, bring it in. Bring it in, man. You're missing out the fun here. Bring it all in. We got one to impress you. You know, I want you to think that we make real food here. I'm going to add a little bit more. Do you have formal culinary training? Why? What would make you ask that question, man? What do you think that I? I'm wondering. No, I don't. I taught myself by watching Food Network all the time. Nicole went to culinary school. She got like a real degree on that. You went to culinary school. I did. Yeah, I did. How's that? Do you think your life would have been different if you didn't go? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah, my whole life would be different. That was the the beginning of me, like, because I've never not had a job. The only jobs I've ever had were in kitchens. Yeah, I've only worked in one field, and so like going to culinary school, I always think that like it, it, people ask me like, is it worth going to culinary school? Is it not worth going to culinary school? And I'm always just like, I don't know. Hey, what's what are things for me? For you? It worked yeah, out. Yeah. I like it, it. Showed me how to show up on time. Showed me how to like, you know, shave. I never really shaved every day, and then all of a sudden I had to shave every day. Taught me how to shave. Taught me how to shave. <laughs> Taught me how to be responsible. Give me self worth. That's a big thing. And, and I was never good at high school because I, I wasn't good at math. I wasn't good at gym. I wasn't good. You know, that's the only two classes. Geographies. <laughs> Wasn't good at the geographies, and then going to culinary school, I was good at cooking, and I could like debone a rabbit. I could, you know, make a stock. I could make hollandaise. It came natural. So all of a sudden, self-esteem, self-worth, really then, started kicking in. And that I was gives like, you the tools nice. to do anything after that. Then yeah. You can, yeah. So going to culinary school for me was very helpful for me, and I've become, you know, incredibly successful. That is true. He's so, so successful. You, that's why he's here. Uh, we don't do this. Get a who's more successful, me or him? Who Him, knows? Like, the spiritually. Find the numbers. spiritually, obviously you. You have obviously very zen. I, obviously we just did a podcast. Me. Please listen to our podcast so I can love myself. But we just did a podcast <laughs> and you had all these podcast. zen nuggets. Yikes. And I was just sitting there like, but don't you hate doing it? No, you, know? you like it. You, we, we I just, do love it. I you love like, it. I, I love the it. biggest thing that I found out, I love the ingredients thing. I really do. I think yeah. that's a really good nugget to take away from that. Where dog food, cat food, it's all ingredients. It's just, it's just ingredients. You like eating fish. You like eating sardines. It's the, it's the Socratic forms. That's what I love about food. You can break it down into its break. elementary parts, right? Like funyuns are literally just you know flour, onion powder, salt, oil. That's it, right? People would add olive oil to pasta. There goes. Yeah. Well, yeah so Is that nice? If you want. It's nice. Right? We'll wrap it. We'll hydrate a little bit. Yeah. You know, and then we'll roll it out. That's nice. Bingo, bingo. We pasta, started talking about pasta dough. That easy. Man, we got it. We got a, a puck. We got a puck of, of wet pasta dough. The it's hydrated. Dough. The funyun fun dough. dough. Do you want to start rolling this out? We got a pasta maker. We, we broke it earlier today, just today, and uh, so we're gonna, just gonna try and roll it out. Here, so I'll, I'll grab a little nugget. We're just gonna kind of like feed. Grab a nugget. Grab okay, a nugget. Pinch it out. You, you can know, maybe try to make that into like a square or pinch something. Well, no, no? Just okay. It. You know, no, shove man. it through. Could shove it. It all ends up in the same place. It all ends up in the same place. Yeah, feed it. Feed it through. You got through a little wider. You start a wide. Here's okay. We should give them information they can use to make pasta. You let Maddie do it. That's all I got. So you <laughs> want to go wanted. through it a couple times, mm. and you go back front to tail, to tail, tail to front, front, and you just go it, and then you work, you go step by step, step by step, down, and then, then it, you, and then you, and then you do it, broke it, and then what that does, what does that do to Which the one? to the bounce of it? To the by bounce. going down slowly, you got to stretch it out even. Glutens. Glutens. Talk about the glutens. Talk about the glutens. So here's the thing. Gluten is a protein that's found inside wheat, several other things. It's what typically gives uh, uh, any dough product its sort of stretch, its bounce. Uh, you might call it um, uh, al dente in Italian. In Chinese, Mandarin, you might call it a Q, right? That gives it the signature snap. That, of course, comes from the alkali water that you add to it. Some people are intolerant to it. Um, not me. I'm, uh, gluten's intolerant to me. So. When I eat gluten, it gives me energy. Like, Agreed. if I'm about to, like, super sane. jump up a mountain, do a couple hopscotches up a mountain, I eat it just like a dough. Pack of gluten. Just, I, I just keep a just gluten like a bag, goo. Yeah, like gluten a bag goo. of AP. Like a go-gurt. I call it glute gurt. Yeah. What's happening here? We Is made it? a lasagna dough. Okay. We made a so lasagna So you make a tongue. Dough. Yeah. And, but then we're gonna we're gonna do that. We got swap outs, luckily. We got swap outs. This show Nicole isn't about accuracy. It's a bank. It's an artifice. It's a prison of our own design. We live inside the matrix. The pasta dough does not exist. This is what you're going for. Yeah, it was, it was called a cold open, so we're not gonna, you're just gonna say the thing that you said where you're like, we're going raw, and then we'll just come into it straight like that. I just said you're gonna cut, why are we putting it in raw? Yeah, what were we gonna put, we put it, was that a good cold open, Annalise? I was just gonna say, why would, you start with, okay, now let's assemble it. Okay, okay, now let's assemble it. 
Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna try and guesstimate the old size here and use a paint scraper. Use a paint bash scraper. This up. And then what's you this can... called? Maltagliati? You can make some maltagliati. Yeah, with that. maltagliati is you know? nice. You know, you can do a little bit. We just get a little torn. bit of this sauce so it doesn't stick on the bottom. We'll see mandili bisetta. Mandili bisetti. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. A couple capicolis. A couple gabagool. You get that in there. I eat too much processed okay. minced meat, man. Now, all right, we're gonna start. Do you want to cut in. your sheets the same size as your dish pan? Do you even tell people how to cook anything? Uh, we got a little distracted this episode. We do, we, we do, we, oh. we do some like basic, we, we've done some basics videos. We did a show called Cook Food Good. Oh, that's nice. And then not, nice... not a ton of people watched Nobody it. Nobody watched Nobody, it. No, but we're proud of the work that we did. Why, Why would you watch it? Because no, you, you, you can make insane nice Dorito enough. crusted funnel cake. We we do. I told them. Oh, so I, I told nice. I told them. You I told them about the you know lateral fish cooking Unilateral. method. I told them about you know. Yeah, you know. Unilateral tests well. Yeah, no, did not no. test well. Unilateral salmon cookery did not test well with the core demo. All right, so drop some of that almond pepper jack ricotta. If you can. We're using ricotta in like a real. Here, I'll hold this down. I'll kind of anchor it. I'm gonna kind of anchor like this. Feel like you don't need to get a little schwappy. Oh. No, sorry. Here, I'll anchor all. Don't schwap. Yeah. Too much schwap. Go around the fingers. Just, just travel around the fingers. That's nice. That's so nice. It's just good. I mean, the thing I think about is you got to know the rules of cooking if you if you want to break them. So for me, I think this all makes sense in my head together, right? Absolutely. Right. You're there, ragu, ragu. Yeah. Ragu. No cheese. Yeah, yeah. More cheese. More cheese. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, string cheese string and, cheese and pepper shelf stable jack. pepper jack. Self stable. Shelf stable because they. They don't put it in the fridge, they sell it at the cash register. So if you're going to the cash register and you're like, hey man, I just need some cash back, they're like, do you would you like some wet pepper jacks? The wettest pepper jack you ever had. Love a wet pepper like, jack. Yeah, dude. It's my favorite kind. Yeah. Well, you're not gonna want to dry. Actually, no. there's a couple of really good like dry age jacks out there. Like oh. some really good Vela is a company that wow, does a good dry Some nice jack. dry age jacks. Yeah. Mm. We got another, what happened here? Um that's okay. You know, we're just gonna kinda we're gonna We're kinda, gonna work that in. What's going on? I don't know. What happened? Well, we can get a, you know, this hand, a little hand this torn. This is on you, Joshy. You know, I don't know. This one's on you. you. Know, listen, we make a lot of videos, and you know, we're do, we do the podcast, listen to the podcast. You know, buy Maddie's pan. How much does that pan cost? Uh, about 200. So much money. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw this lasagna in the oven at 400. How much does that weigh? It's a lot. Feel it, man. That's hefty. That's about, uh, what, uh, 2.9 kilos in your speak. No, I don't need to do poundies. Do you really? Did I not know that about I'm Canada? That's so gross. We got the lasagna out of the oven. That, if, you, if you didn't notice, because it's right there, we got the lasagna out of the oven. It smells like sweet potatoes. It reeks of sweet potatoes. So we don't know what. There's sugar in the beef jerky. There's got to be sugar in the funion. Yeah, it's, there's definitely it's sugar a in sugar the pie. Funions. It's a sugar pie. It looks like it's sweet potatoes dessert. and marshmallows. It's a dessert lasagna. It's a savory. It's a nouveau dessert. Yeah. Sweet, savory. We deconstructed to reconstruct to then create a new piece of art. No funion? Please. Cheers, bro. Thanks for coming hey. to the show, by the way. This is a great time. It's the best time I've ever had in my life. Right? Oh, yeah. I got some funny yeah. in there. That's good. I've never had a Funyun. What? I had my first Funyun. Oh, they're good stuff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, use a paint scraper. I've put my finger in a little bit. Oh! Wait, are there two plates here? Mm-hmm. Nope, just Wait, one. Do I guess I I'm, I'm going straight out of here. I How love the sharing. I just want to get... That's... Can I try? What do Wait, you... no, man. Is it hot? Oh, it's so sweet. Wait, man, hold on before... I told you we had another stick coming. Another stick? Check this out. There's so many sticks. Maddie, you hold this. And then we got our signature patented. Spork Damp. That's nice. I got a tattoo for $85 in Portland. That looks really well done. Yeah, and now we've made it like the 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 mascot of the channel. And then you can just do like an endoscopy. Ah, jaw cracked. I have TMJ. All right, let me let me let me grab you some. Seems hot. All the pasta really dissolves. <laughs> it's really hot. Do you want to blow it? Do you want me to blow it? Okay, we're boosted. Okay, we're just getting riled up. We're getting freaking riled up. Get in there, get in there, Maddie. How's it? It's sweet. Some fell down your shirt. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's a lot of flavor. That is wild. I told you that we're not gonna make you the best lasagna you ever had. We're not gonna make you the second best lasagna. We might make you the worst lasagna you've ever had. And did we satisfy? Where'd it go? I don't know. It's in the it's, mat, it's matted in the Chester. You gotta kind of comb through it. Ugh. You know, just get it in there. That's crazy. The boss is a little gummy. <laughs> the boss is a little gummy. What? what? <laughs> oh. That's the only thing. There we go. We need a little a little granita on top. You know what? It's not bad though. But the thing about America, the thing about Tell them, Maddie. The thing about the world. This is what they want. This is what you deserve. This is what if this is what you want, this yeah. is what you get. Feeding pigs to pigs. This is crazy. Oh, that's so hot. Oh my god. Alright, well, hey, thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. Uh Hit that bell. I got a, I have a heartburn after eight like seconds. Like it, subscribe it, go to the community the page, bell. buy a pan, buy a book, Google me. 
Maddie, no, he's gonna know. Maddie is gonna drop a comment right at the top of this comment section, right when the video publishes. That way you can go sub to his page directly so he doesn't have to, you don't even have to search it. I'm, I'm almost at a million subscribers. He's gonna go, he's gonna go, thanks so much I for having me. I had a great time. I need like, you know, we're all like stuck in the 60, matrix. 60,000, I need like 60,000. Bend this fork with your mind. If I got 60,000 subscribers from this video, what should we do? I don't know. Like, we'll make well, another video, but we'll fight to the death naked. We won't fight to the death naked. We won't fight to the death. Tattoo. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get You'll more. Get I'll, I'll get Babish's laser removed and I'll put Maddie on there. I will, we'll, we'll get Maddie. If, if you, if 60,000 subscribers, if I go over a million after this video, yeah. he'll get a tattoo of me. And guess what? I'll do it. Wait, hold on. If, <laughs> wait, if a good thing happens to you, then a bad thing happens to me. That's the relationship that we just you set up. You literally get my like, face tattooed on your body. And that's like I a, that's a decision that I could have made. Subscribers. I, I could have made that decision independently, regardless of anything. But now you're only putting. I'm a really good tattooer, though. You don't know. Oh, that. that's that's good. Yeah, well, the what can I do? I'll do anything for content. Truly, I mean, what are we all doing here? See y'all next time. Listen, Listen to, to our, our podcast. A hot dog, dog is a sandwich. To hear us dissect the internet's most controversial food questions, questions. airing every Wednesday wherever you get your podcast. You're flat. You're flat.